Okay, as we as we rolling now, as we as we good, is you okay? You have ice cream all over your chin. <laughs> you totally didn't get any of it. Are you gonna do like an introduction or What's up YouTube? Welcome to my wife. Short, like you. Five, eight and a half. That's basically leprechaun height. What's up, YouTube? That's really late. We already did that. I'm gonna edit it. I know, but you're gonna get rid of all the good stuff. Not necessarily true. I can't keep all of your funny stuff. Then there would be no room for the vlog. The funny stuff is the vlog. You've seen the channel. I edit 90% of the videos. They're not horrible. 90%. We're like 95. Thank you. <laughs> About to smack him. Hey, I do a few of them here and there. Mm -hmm. And if I can rope Mia into it, I get Mia to do some of them. Here's the thing about editing is this one never knows the plan before going into shooting all these vlogs. And I just kind of have to go in, watch every bit of footage and be like, where's the story? What story? I'm making groundbreaking leaps in storytelling by not telling the story. <sighs> I thought we were gonna talk about what it takes to be the spouse of a creative person. So what's it like being married to this disaster? <laughs> this one I live with, folks. All that's mine. Yeah, you better put it back on. Can't have it. Uh huh. Yeah, I need that. Anywho. So what's it like being married to? I enjoy being married to you. Something I've I've been pitching as an idea for a vlog for a really long time has been what it takes to be the spouse of a super creative type. I'm creative. I have two theater degrees. I'm artistic. I sing. I kind of draw a little bit, not as good as this one does, so it's a moot point, but... Zach of Idea, he's the guy that draws, not me. He's, he's the artist. I don't but draw, I don't even know what you're talking about. When, when you're the spouse of somebody who is what I like, what I've dubbed a super creative... What does that even mean? I'm about to explain. That makes it sound like an STD. I've been tested, I don't have those. I've dubbed it super creative because He's not the creative type in that he just will find things and create from them. He gets locked into these different types of things that he loves to do. One of them started about two and a half years ago and that was videography. We went from owning no cameras or camera equipment to owning a lot of things. Actually, I was a photographer, a wedding photographer, mind you, for 14 years. I didn't have a camera because they'd all been stolen. We still didn't have them. That was my point. God, you're like my kids like to interrupt me when I'm trying to make a point. Come, come back. He's pouting off camera, which is adorable, but annoying. Get in here. He's smoking. He's smoking. So anyway, I've dubbed him a super creative because his type of creativity This type of creativity is one that takes a lot of time, a lot of expense, and as his spouse, that requires, on my part, Cake. a lot of patience Cake sounds and wine. Mainly when John really wanted to start doing this, he wanted to start putting together a YouTube channel, he wanted to start creating more with this type of medium. I knew that it was going to take a lot of time of a schedule. I knew it was going to take a big chunk of our finances. But, just like you guys saw the new Ronin. Yes, technically, that is a Christmas gift from me. But really what that was is 
Hey baby, I really want to buy this really expensive piece of equipment. Can it be my Christmas gift this year? And I'm totally fine with it because he knows better than I do what he wants to spend his time and energy on. As his spouse, sometimes it can get hard. It really... <laughs> As his spouse, on occasion, it can get daunting, especially when you see them struggling with the time commitment or the equipment purchasing or things of that nature. Like there are things that I see him struggling with and it's hard to continue supporting him through that, but I've had, I've had to find a way to do that. He decided that he was gonna go to seven days a week vlogging Honestly, at first, I was... It's been like one week, guys. One week. Well, when you proposed this to me, first of all, I do 90% of the editing. And I was just thinking, so you're telling me I'm going to have to come home every day and edit. Because for me, the seven-minute, eight-minute videos take me about two, two and a half hours to completely edit. Jeff will do the color correction for me. John will go back through and make sure everything is lined up correctly, but I'm doing the bulk of that editing. And so I'm thinking, okay, well, this is not just a commitment for you, this is a commitment for me as well. And we have a toddler. And so all I'm thinking is- How old does he have to be before you can teach him to edit? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but what I'm thinking about is how much time is that gonna take me away from him in the evenings when I have to leave the house to go to work come home, I only get a few hours with him. So really what, what that trade off there was, was I can either support my husband and just do what I need to do. I can ask John to take on more bulk of the editing, or I can just kind of do it and silently stew to myself. Which probably is, that's the option. <coughs> probably, probably that one. Well, the option that we're doing is that John is now editing his mainly talking videos and I'll still edit the more cinematic B-roll videos because that's what I like to edit and that's what I'm good at editing. There's a trade-off when it comes to being the spouse of somebody who is categorically the most creative person I've ever met. And it's a reason that I fell in love with him, undeniably. Our first date, the first thing he showed me was his shop and the things that he had made out of leather and <laughs> then he proceeded to show... That sounds so dirty. You yeah, so on our first date, I showed no. you the leather goods I made. No, he does like leather work, and he showed me the costume he was working on at the time. You pervy old man. I really loved about mm. you when we first met. Could you stop? Ugh. As we continued dating and as we got to know each other better, I realized that this is somebody who's really never felt supported by his significant other when it comes to his art and his passions and what he loves to do. If you fall in love with somebody who is as creative as John or who has those projects and those passions, you have to really look at yourself and say, am I able to support this? Because if you love that person, you should be able to. I have met a lot of different spouses and girlfriends and boyfriends of the different artists that John's collaborated with and I've gotten the chance to go on some of these shoots and talk to some of these people. And the one thing that I always seem to hear is it, there just never seems to be enough time. And I, I've instituted something for, for our family that I, I had to fight for. It was, a bit, it was a bit of a fight for just a little bit. I made it a stipulation that at least one night a week, there's no people in the shop, our focus is on spending time with us and our son. We don't ever come out to the shop until after Odin has gone to bed. Tonight, we made it a vlog night because I wanted to help him because tomorrow he'll be in the office and he doesn't have the chance to vlog there. When it comes to being a support system for your spouse, it's all or nothing. You're either supporting them or you're not. But in my experience, just because things are getting harder and things are getting tougher to manage doesn't mean you stop supporting them. You just have to go to the board and be like, okay, I'm your partner and I'm your spouse. This is what's happening. 
this is what we need to change. And then you figure out a way to fix it between the both of you. I mean, with a toddler, I don't, I don't have a clue what I would do without this one. He, John supports me. It was a tough summer. I was going through some pretty tough stuff. And nothing that we couldn't handle, nothing that couldn't be handled, but it was just the stress of it all happening at the same time, me having anxiety about starting this new job, about really taking this huge step forward in my career that I, I've been educated for, but had never actually done. You know, all of that culminated. We had some personal stuff happening that was just- Not me. Insane. Not, not my personal stuff. We were good. We, we were- Oh, we, we, we were, were fine. When I say personal stuff, I don't mean marital <laughs> stuff. John supported me through all of that. And so, what else am I supposed to do? I, well, and that's the, that's my point. Am I I'm supposed getting, to leave you? Well, that's no. my point I'm getting to, is that- I can't leave this. He, he's chosen to do with his life this stuff. He, he loves doing this. It's when he gets to get a new piece of equipment and he loves getting to unbox it and figure out how it works. He spends days upon days playing with the new toys and making sure he knows how to use them to the best of his ability. And then he puts those things into practice. When, they, when we do short films, when he does projects that people hire him for, he puts all of that knowledge into those projects and he brings with him a sense of professionalism sometimes. But he is at least a professional when it comes to shoots and making sure that the people he's shooting are comfortable and that he's doing things that a director or the person whose vision it is, he consults them, he makes sure to talk to them and he, he surrounds himself with people who can help him better himself in this area. I mean, that's why most of the people you see on these vlogs, they're in our lives and in our circle because of John's creativity. And I wouldn't change our tribe for anything. I love the people in our lives. That's me supporting my husband. Yes, they're my friends too, and I enjoy their company, except for Jeff sometimes. Sometimes I wanna smack him. I love you, Jeff, but I wanna smack you on occasion. Stop. Ow. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm being stupid, so you hurt yourself. Yes, that's how it works. You support me like crutches. So in this analogy, I'm crutches. Awesome. Could be a wheelchair. All right, that's enough of this. Uh, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, share it with your friends so that it goes up in the YouTube algorithm. We need those things. And uh, I love my wife a lot. I love you too. See you in the next video. Holding on with all that you got. Giving up on the heaven of not. Men, do your wives a favor. Aim better. I clean the toilets in this house. Don't even try, don't, no, don't try to be cute right now. No, I'm serious. Aim better. Aim better. Wow, it stayed focused on you the whole time. <laughs> Camera hates me and you're pretty.